during her friendship of more than a <coughs> decade, a great sacrifice to her family and her own personal health, Sonia showed a selflessness and a dedication that I had rarely seen in any human being. She was not an average person by any means. Sonia was a natural leader, a visionary, and a fighter uh, with uh, where politics and the arbitrariness of state actors and non-state actors attempted to undercut her principled logic. Where others under similar circumstances may have quit out of frustration, fear, exhaustion, Sonia was unwaveringly committed to her country, which I also happen to be partly my country, and always pursued the best for uh, Dominicans throughout the world. Uh, throughout her life, uh, Sonia advocated the rights of many people, uh, uh, from Haitian sugarcane cutters in her migrant labor village, whose plight she fought to improve at the age of 13, to Dominicans of Haitian descent, to all women in the Dominican Republic and indeed women throughout the Americas. When the earthquake struck in Haiti, Sonia and her organization and her colleagues were among the first to arrive in Leogan providing Haitian earthquake victims with food and medical assistance. And I know that well, since at the State Department, I was uh, involved as uh, the Deputy Assistant Secretary for the Caribbean, very much so in the Haitian reconstruction. Organization support for Haiti's most vulnerable earthquake victims continues. Sonia was and will remain a role model to humanitarians and human rights activists throughout the world, and will preserve Sonia's legacy. That I commit to. Her commitment and courage earned her Secretary Clinton's 2010 International Women of Courage Award. The award recognizes the lessons we learned from Sonia. That when one person dares to stand up against injustice, the whole world is changed for the better. The award honors Sonia for, quote, advancing the cause of social justice, confronting exploitation and discrimination, defending the dignity of persons of Haitian descent in the Dominican Republic, and helping marginalized communities develop their own voices for their own future." End quote. <clears throat> Despite Sonia's passing, it is clear that because of her work, those marginalized, these marginalized communities still have a voice. Organization MUDA will continue on, and through Sonia's brave actions, and the brave actions of her colleagues at MUDA, the world bears witness to the plight of those who remain stateless. As many as 12 million people worldwide are stateless and deprive access to crucial services such as healthcare, education, safe housing, and safe working conditions. I can say that the U.S. government, now that I speak on, it, on its behalf, will continue its efforts to address and prevent stateless in the Dominican Republic and worldwide and continue to support Sonia's cause. There will never be another Sonia Pierre, but her life serves an inspiration, inspiration for the next generation of heroes, students, friends, colleagues, family, all of us. For me, as a personal uh, friend uh, and a colleague in, in effort to try to uh, improve the lives of people, uh, and as a fellow Dominican, I will continue to fight for cause. Thank you very much.